Speaking of Thank food, you. fast food chain Raising Cane's suing an Indiana shopping center after buying into the location, then being told it could not sell what it is most known for, chicken fingers. The reason behind the ban, fast food giant McDonald's. News Nation Sloan Glass joins us now. Sloan, this story, wow. So Raising Cane's really had invested a lot of time and a lot of money in this particular location. And Nicole, you would think our antitrust laws would ensure an open market for chicken. Raising Cane's has three items on their menu that aren't chicken. Waffle fries, Texas toast, and coleslaw. The rest, poultry. So you can imagine that after signing a 15-year lease and spending millions of dollars, Learning that McDonald's has the exclusive rights to sell boneless chicken products would be quite the cluck up. In the Indiana Shopping Center, the fast food chains are less than half a mile away from each other. And now, Louisiana-based Raising Cane's has filed a lawsuit against the shopping center Crossing of Hobart and its property owner, alleging fraud, saying their would-be landlord failed to disclose the non-compete, maintaining that they were misled even two times by the shopping center. Their attorney stating Raising Cane's defendants even went so far as to purport to sell Raising Cane's the exclusive rights to sell deboned chicken products at their shopping center, all while knowing McDonald's had already been sold that right. In the lawsuit, Raising Cane's claims that they only learned of the chicken finger non-compete when another chicken seller came into the mix, Chipotle. The competing fast food giant tried to open at the crossings of Hobart Shopping Center, but McDonald's refused to sign a waiver. Now, Raising Cane's is asking the court to void its lease and to make the defendants repay them for the development cost and the loss of profit, which would amount to millions. A lawyer for the defendant saying Raising Cane shouldn't have counted their chickens before they hatched, asserting they should have read the lease more carefully or even done a little Googling since the lease terms were accessible in the public records. Nicole. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.